Hello snowboarders of the internet, I am your host TC and this is Top 5's, the only weekly top 5 show in snowboarding that you come to to watch to see which board your kid is going to grease that handrail with this year. On today's Top 5 we're going to be talking about the Top 5 Youth Park Boards for the 23-24 season. Number 5 is the GNU Young Money. This board is equipped with pretty much all the features that you're used to in any Mervin board where it's going to have those tucked edges so when your kids at the end of the day they're tired they drop the board in the parking lot, it's super easy to fix and it's not going to get as damaged as a full wrap board. It also has magnet traction on it to help them grip on those less than ideal condition days and it's going to have a C2 profile making it nice and easy to turn but still have good edge hold and pop. Number four is the Capita Children of the Gnar. This board is going to have an extruded base on it so you don't have to really worry about waxing it. You can literally just ride it all the way to the parking lot and have no problems. It's going to be nice and durable. This will have a camber profile of camber in between the feet to flat to a rocker on the tip and tail just so you have that true stability of camber with the nice turnability of that rocker in the tip and tail. Number three is the Jones Prodigy. This board is going to be pretty much just like your twin sister or your Jones Mountain Twin where you're gonna have a milled core so you can still foot steer it, making it easier on the youngsters that don't have all of that muscle yet. It's also gonna have a 3D contoured base on the tip and tail so it helps with float and makes it easy to get in and out of turns. And then it's also gonna have traction tech on it where it'll have three little bump marks right in between the feet and on the contact points just to grip on those less than ideal days. Number two is the Ride Zero Junior. This board is going to be equipped with impact plates, so on those flatter landings when they're just taking it, their knees don't have to take the full brunt of it, the board will absorb some of that. Also helps with durability so they're not snapping it when they're hitting any trees or any rocks or anything like that on those low tide days. And finally we have the cleave edge, which is going to be a thicker steel edge on the side of the board just to help it with durability and you can run it through that edging machine more than your average snowboard. Honorable mentions, remember these are all great options, they just weren't able to crack the top five. We have the Solomon Sleepwalker Grom, the Yest First Basic, and the GNU Recess ASIM. Remember, they're all great options, they just weren't able to crack the top five this year. And the best youth park board for the 23-24 season is the Solomon Huckknife Grom. This board is equipped with a centered base, true camber, so you get a nice snap, pop, and stability going off those jumps and it's just gonna be a rad board. You'll see all the big boys on this thing, and then now your little ripper can too. This has been Top Fives, and I've been your host, TC. Do you agree with the list? Do you disagree with the list? Do you own anything on the list? Are you gonna buy anything on the list? Make sure you leave a comment down below. I wanna know what you guys have to think. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, click that bell, turn on those notifications. If you wanna support us further, head on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. Sure, I could explain it here, but we have a great video over there that gets really in depth with it. And as always guys, I've been your host TC. I'll see you out on the hill.